Hello and welcome to IDCSC Mathematics 0580 Extended Course, Slivers Topic E1 Number, Module E1.8 which is about decimals and fractions and this is part 5 in which we are going to solve exercise 3 of chapter number 1. We are using complete mathematics for Cambridge IDCSC Extended Slivers written by David Rayner. In question number 28 it says in the equation below all the sterics stand for the same number what is the number so in fact it's looking for the steric i just replace it with the x so x over x will cancel out so it will be 1 minus x over 6 equals to x over 30 so let's combine the x's together take that term on that side so it is 1 equals to x over 30 plus x over 6 now take the lcm 30 and 6 lcm is 30 so we have x plus 6 5 to 30 so it will be 5x equals to 1 multiply 30 on that side so it will be 30 on the 30 equals to x plus 5x six 6x so it means x equals to 30 over 6 6 will be divided by going on other side and 6 5 to 30 so x equals to 5 or the steric value of steric is 5. In the last exercise, a question of uh, this exercise 3, which is 29, it says, when it hatches from its egg, the shell of a certain crab is 1 cm across. When fully grown, the shell is approximately 10 cm across. Each new shell is one third bigger than the previous one. How many shells does a fully grown crab have during its lifetime? So one thing is sure that it is starting from the 1 and the last value is 10 and the last value is 10 and it is increasing at a rate of see what it says one third bigger than the previous one one third is bigger so it means that if it is one third bigger than so how you gonna good do that it means one is added to one third of one which is one third itself so one plus one over three is four over three so the next size is four over three then one third of 4 over 3 is 4 over 9 and it is going to add with the 4 over 3. So 4 over 3 plus 4 over 9 is 16 over 9. So the next size will be 16 over 9 and this continue goes until it reaches 10. One practice is just keep on doing and doing and doing and see how many terms you will uh, reach by getting to n you will get the answer of 9 right so the 9 terms you just keep doing it first calculate the one third then add one third to the same number you will get the size of the next egg and keep doing it and the last value should be 10 and you will see that there are 9 terms so other way of doing it which is equally better and smart is using the geometric progression or GP you will be uh, doing in the later chapter the GP or geometric progression the formula is this one 10 equals to the first term is 1 and the common difference is which is the uh, 4 over 3 in fact this is a ratio in fact uh, it, 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 it means the next terms is simply getting multiplying 4 over 3 if you multiply 4 over 3 with the 4 over 3 you, you get uh, uh, it is in fact 16 over 9 not 19 or 19 over 9 16 over 9 in the same way the next term you will get by multiplying 4 over 3 and so on so the common ratio is 4 over 3 raised to the power of n minus 1 and you are looking for this n so it is in fact uh, uh, you have to take this n minus 1 down so by taking log lg on both sides lg of 10 and lg of 4 over 3 n minus 1 lg of 10 is 1 and this term can be taken down in logs n minus 1 into lg of 4 over 3 when you solve this out the n would be 9 as well i like this technique of doing it but of course at this stage you have to do it uh, manually just keep on multiplying 4 over 3 4 over 3 until you reach 10 and you just count the number of ten, number of terms uh, including 10 and there will be 9 term, nine, uh, nine terms altogether so it means that uh, there, there are 9 shells so this is the end of uh, this uh, part which is E1.8 so in the next uh, uh, part of the videos we will be doing E1.9 so see you there